Okay, so at this point, let's show off one more video transition and add a title to our sequence. So what I'll do here is I'll move some of my clips around in another way. Rather than just left clicking and dragging them where I want them, I'm going to hit Control X to cut the video clip I want. And I'm going to go to where I want it to be and hit Control V to paste it in. Notice how it pops into the timeline. We did leave a gap in between uh, our earlier clips. So one way we can get rid of that gap, and you can also use this to delete a video clip while pushing everything to the right over to the left, is to right click it and do a ripple delete. So when I do that, you see that the rest of the timeline moves over to the left immediately. If I do that with a video clip, it will remove the video clip while pushing every other video clip to the right over to the left. So if I right click this and do ripple delete, it pushes everything over to the left. So that is really, really handy when you're editing your videos. Uh, you can also do it by hitting delete on your keyboard uh, if you'd rather use hotkeys instead. So like that, just select it with left click and hit delete. Okay. So now that I have these two different clips, it probably makes sense to have a video transition between them. So in the toolbox, I'm going to choose video transitions. You can see the cross dissolves, which are added by default. You can see the cross dissolves, which we added in earlier. Uh, but we want to grab a different kind of transition. So I'm just going to go down here and maybe grab something silly like a uh, heart shape transition. So I'll left click and I'll drag this over on the edge of where I want the transition to be. So that can be on the edge here between these two video clips. I just drag it on there. And if I hit play, I can have that simple transition play back in our timeline. If I need to make any adjustments to it, I can uh, zoom in a little bit so that it's easier to click on, left click on the transition, increase the duration, or uh, maybe if I want a border for this heart, I can add that on there, change the color, uh, just kind of these simple menu settings that you can do to change your video transitions by a little bit. So now we can play it back and we can see how that changes things a little bit by having that extra color there. And pretty much with all these other transitions, it's kind of the same story. You just drag them on where you want them. You can left click on them, modify the settings. Uh, just like in the cut timeline, by the way, you can actually uh, adjust the length of the duration by left clicking on the border inside of the timeline and dragging it, as you can see here. So you don't necessarily need to use the inspector. And just one real quick last way to quickly add transitions. If you left click on a clip and you look at the top left or top right hand corner of those clips, you'll see a little notch here. So if you want to do a simple fade in or fade out, you can drag these to the left to have it fade out over time. So note that this is always going to be a uh, fade to black. So you're basically getting rid of the opacity of the video. Um, so a real simple transition, you can do it with the audio as well. So this will fade the audio out over time or fade it in, which will make it more quiet as you approach the end of the clip or your soundtrack. We can also do that at the start of a video. We can also remove a video transition by left clicking on it and hitting delete. And now if we wanted to replace that with one of those notch fades, we can drag it out over to the right and we can drag the one on the left clip over to the left and play it back. And you'll see that it fades to black and then fades in from black. So that's just a really quick way you can add transitions as well. And uh, while we're at it, another way is to right click on the border between two video clips and do something like add a 15 frame cross dissolve, which will give you that simple cross dissolve look we were going for earlier which usually looks really nice, and that's probably why it's the default transition.